it's a wonderful morning the sun is out take a journey with big super i don't know where you're up to this morning what what's what's going on this morning on the beach too nothing too tough well my grandmother used to say sometime coffee mm. sometime tea the bottom of the sea egg look look at it you see it you see, you see that section moving he left my rock side and threw a kid and one day he yeah. kept on white ground keep the ground and that day he said you are a fisherman from that day a grunt? until now eh? Hold up your catch, my brethren. Hold up your catch. Hold up your catch. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, peeps across the world. It's a wonderful morning. The sun is out and the beach is calm, pretty calm. This morning we don't know what we're going to see along the beach line, but take a journey with Big Super and see what we are going to buck up into this morning you yeah, guys heading down to the beach line and um we have a nice pretty green lawn here mother nature made this grass and we have some lovely coconut tree and this morning we are in the community of Prospect. Yeah. And we are below Blue Maho. If you guys know Blue Maho, you really take Blue Maho and you come right down to the beach. Yeah. So we are on the local scene, the local beach. And this morning, we saw. A gentleman out here doing some fishing. Don't know. Don't look like the regular fisher folks that I know. But um go closer and take a look. You never can tell. Morning again! Oh guy. Why? For me turning a star. <laughs> You're the world star right now. I don't know where you're up to this morning. What, what's, what's going on this morning on the beach? Too Nothing too tough. Well, my grandmother used to say, sometime coffee, mm -hmm. sometime tea. So you never can tell. Me have about an hour out, out here with you. So me will go and video the scenery and watch the happenings. Mm -hmm. Alright? So you throw out your rod this morning and you never you never go for catch no 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 wilks of it yeah? never bother with no wilks this morning and you never dive up no sea puss oh, all right so the lord you send something for you man yeah man so me believe in that cause where there's a will there always a way yeah man yeah man so i'm out here with the famous bill people because from time to time come down from the sea coast and me just video the sea coast and the fisher folks then want me to sit down here and um, put, put them up and you guys can see what taking place on the sea coast in the district of Prospect uh, come down Blue Mahoe, come right down to the beach and the scenery is nice the sun also blind me you yeah, guys and um, just look at the beach yeah look at the water the tide, the tide pretty low this morning. Yeah. Sea calm. Yeah man, so we just a walk around the beach. Now I go scare the fish them. 
we just a walk around the coastline and look and um, look at mother nature Yeah, yeah people, morning, morning again, morning, you know, I don't know if you can see those red stuff hidden, hidden below the water, but um, those red stuff are hidden below the water, they're known as sea, sea head, and some very dangerous it's a very dangerous, dangerous um, sea, sea creature. It has a lot of a lot of tentacles on it, and if one of those um, sprung should go up in you, tell you, it won't be easy to take it out. Yeah, it won't be easy to take it out. I'm going to see if I can retrieve one. I'm going to see if I can retrieve one of these sea eggs and show you exactly what the sea egg look like. But it's not going to be pretty. I'm going to see if I can retrieve, retrieve one of these sea eggs. Them, them grow underneath these stones. Wow. I wonder if I can take up this one now. I don't know if I can take it up. I just can't hold it to the hand, you know. <laughs> I'm try to use a stick. But I'm going to try to use a stick. 
and take it up. All right, people. Let me get it up. Yeah, let me get it up. The sea egg. Yeah, guys. I'll make you guys see exactly what the sea egg look like. And uh, you can inbox me. Wow. Fall again. You can inbox me. And this is a live. Wow. See egg fall again. And every time him fall, you see him go, him go in and out. You see him move live. I'm live, you know. All of those um, tentacles that you see on him, you know. Yeah. Yeah guys. Yeah people across the world can take a a look exactly at the sea egg. And you see right underneath the the bottom of the sea egg. Look look at it. You see it? You see, you see that section moving? You see that section moving people? This is one of the most dangerous I don't know if you call it animal or sea creature out in the sea and you don't you don't want to step on this guy trust me you don't want to step on him just look on him look on him defensive system where him have him have more than a hundred sprung maca kasha more than a hundred juki juki parts standing up look at that you don't really want a guy with so many defensive systems like that. You don't want to make mistake and go stand up on him you know. A sea egg, you know. If you make mistake and stand up on a sea egg. Remember me tell you, the other day when I walk out in the water, we make mistake and stand up on one. One alone go up in my big toe. And I tell you guys, never normal. And most of the time them say when sea egg go up in your foot. And say so you have to piss on it, you know. <laughs> I don't know Jamaican people them have all type of say, you know. And sometimes a female you have to get, and sometimes there's no female around to piss on your leg to get out that. So, guys, we just featuring just another day along the sea coast. And um, the things that you buck up in when you come along the beach is um, amazing. And one of the one of the things you will see when you come along the sea coast is the, the sea egg. Look at that. Look at it. It's it just, it just breathtaking, don't it? It's just breathtaking. One of Mother Nature. Most. I guess you will have to leave your habitat in order to, to come in a sea egg habitat because a sea egg is not really not really in your habitat you know guys are gonna put him back in the water yeah and so when him go back in the water now him have yeah him have more life like you know him out of the water but those tentacles where him have on you know them them tend to move them tend to move yeah and use them and kind of walk, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you look at him, he use those tentacles and kind of, and kind of walk. Yeah. So look at this, look at it. Yeah, guys. So to all of the people them who don't know sea egg, I'm going to look up the correct name for it. But most people prefer to this egg looking type creature with a lot of with a lot of uh what i call it now maca kasha sprung tentacles i don't know with a lot of juki juki thing on him most people refer refer uh rep. <laughs> most people refer to this creature as sea egg it's one of the most dangerous creature 
<coughs> in the world and did you know that people use sea egg to catch fish yeah the gem come on bill where is your interview this is what bill use to catch a fish yeah i see a sea egg guys i'm gonna turn him over so you guys can see him yeah man guys wow it's a sea egg yeah and there's a lot of sea egg along this 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 coastline a lot of sea egg along the coastline here people yeah a lot friend Bill, him like when he's fishing, you know, him not really like the crowd, him just, him alone, just come from the coastline and him, and him do him thing, you know, and him always out here every morning, don't know what I can catch, people, that look like a sea post, mm -hmm. that look like a sea post, people, mm -hmm. Get something, guys. It is a sea post deeper. So, Bill catch a sea post. Mm -hmm. So, it's happening along the coastline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go over there and look at it. I make you guys see what it look like. you guys see what it look like people see that if that is not an octopus that is a sea post well maybe not the same thing octopus sea post yeah moving down the coastline here guys and it moving look at it Look at it. Hey guys, let me show you. Below in the water here with him, with him, with him rod. And those, those two um, wire ways he's having on his hand. Is, 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 is that you use, you know, to catch it? Yeah.
You have one line down there and you have a next line way over to the far side here and you never can tell what happened a fish might grab the line here so <laughs> people they'll have turned me in a fisher a fisher folk so the reel is right here to the blue to the blue reel here well so far not no grab it people because the reel is still there and it, it, it I don't know if you can look to it you see one one stick and into the stick known as the rod but I don't know if you can see it still but there's a stick right out here right above the wall there are people where the the line run over and go out to sea and then it come back to right here people so here is the reel so you know say so anything grab it reel and everything gonna see <laughs> Yeah, guys, and I did a lot of big fish swim up, swim across here, you know. Because the other day I'll show you, I'll show you Bill with a with a big fish, and you, I don't know if you can look over that side, but um, the other reel is over there. The other reel is somewhere over there, guys, but it might be difficult to see it. But um, it's somewhere over there. Yeah man, so it's a nice adventure. Those of you who love fishing, very very nice adventure to come on the sea coast and um, look at the scenery, see what taking place on the waterfront, and um, enjoy the breathtaking view and the garlands flying around the sea coast as them also waiting on your fish to catch you know that them can grab it so you see the side you see the circle alive yeah so them wait when you catch a fish them grab it. so it's a never ending um cycle so people stick and stay big super is here on the coastline of St. Thomas. You can tell a five minute story you know, to people, you know. If you have a story where you want to tell them, you can relate it from this. Whole life. <laughs> yeah man, you can tell them about fishing or any little thing you want to tell people. Whole life. I'm a fishing. Yeah. I'm a old man who come down here. Yeah. And he always go out there and dive. Yeah. Because it's true to sometimes. But to eat. Yeah. To eat, yeah. And he left my rock side and threw a catch fish. And one day he yeah. kept a white gun, chicken gun. And that day he said you are a fish and one from that day. A and gun? Until now. Eh? About me at 12. What? Yeah, man. Me, me, me but want... we never do it to sell. Yeah. Do it to eat. Yeah, because I want to get a line and come in and come fishing, you know. Yeah, man. I want to get a rod. Yeah. I me, me beg my family them to send a rod for me. I me go get a rod and you know come on up on the rock with you and throw it out. And you teach me, you know? Yeah man. Cause I never really actually catch a fish. But you know, I eat fish but I don't catch one. And my sister is a beauty when you come with a line and throw it out, you actually pull in one for yourself. Yeah man. You understand? Yeah, man. So you say, from the day you catch a grunt. I still know. Your father say, yeah, a fisherman that. <laughs> So I motivate, you motivate to this, yeah. you know. Yeah, in there, motivation. Yeah. So, and how much years ago that? 25 from here to the now, I have October from here, 60. You're 60? No, this October, 20. You're 60 year old? 60. Well, you look good to 60, man. People look for him. 60 year old fisherman, you know. Me and Bill. All is up on the waterfront when I catch fish. The biggest fish ever carried in the lower size? 25. The one that I see with you? Yeah. Big the one that I see with you? The one that I see with a 19 and a half. A 19 and a half that? Okay. 25 pounds. Wow. How you want to dry that? You know what I'm saying? Why do you have the right line to pull it in? Yeah. Because you know, me, me, I, cause me say when the fish in the water is strong, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, so if you hold it in our gloves 
Yeah, man. Because if you don't know, you pull him in, When I come in, you hold and the gun up with the line. Yeah, cut up. Yeah, man. That's why I want to get the line. You can make it in the man. You can pull and fish grab. You can fish. Post up man's finger with the line. I fish do this now. Eh? Yeah. Oh, that was that decent. Right. Oh. Spice family line and it's wrapped around the finger. Yeah. Cut that. Yeah, maybe we can guys. Yeah man. Why well, may I tell you so? People can hear your story and know say the fishing the fishing thing not pretty. But where you go do? You don't want a bigger guy not. No, sir. No, you know that. Yeah. You yeah, always have your boss for you, as you say, no so you go. Then yeah, you have your boss for your walk. Right. Yeah, so. A guy can't say really, you understand? So, people used to be there with Bill and not, not much not going on yet, but he catch a couple of sea puss. <laughs> so, yeah, me see him catch some sea puss for a morning and things like that. And so he might go and build back and I watch him lying them, so stick and stay. Ask your opinion on the vaccine. What your opinion on the vaccine? Vaccine? Yeah. People have to take them, them vaccines because right now, a whole heap of life has gone down. Yeah. Every, every people that take the vaccine is more safer for them. More safer for them? Yeah. Okay. So, you take your vaccine already? Yes, I don't take it. You don't take it yet? Because... I have two vaccines for me and for me and I go to business school. Oh, for you go to business school, you get them there? That's a dog in the 60s. Oh. Okay. And it, and it, it never do you no harm. <laughs> so, you know, a whole lot of people now are complaining about the vaccine, you know, all type of issues and, and all type of things, you know. People have complained about the vaccine. I'm going to have to know. I don't want to know the same thing, you know? Yeah, man. I don't want to know the same thing. We don't have no problem with it. Yeah, yeah, we don't have no problem with it. No problem. So you have plans, eh? You have maybe a plan to go take it one of them, one of them weeks or months. You don't think so, no? You don't think so? Because <laughs> you're not really in a day. You're not in a day crowd, the place. You saw me, mom. Me alone. Yeah. Me alone. You know yeah. the time, me and the monks crowd is when I have a plate to go down, you know? Yeah. Three or four hours. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You know they were crowded, so you know. Yeah. You know, going to party. Yeah. You know, going to buy my car, to buy my buy one thing, come sit on one side, three or four away. Yeah. So you keep your social distance. And you have your sanitizer and you wear your mask. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, things are the vaccine at you. I feel the people then we're hoping at the public eye every day. Every day. All right, people. So, when you get, when you get Bill opinions from the vaccine. And as I said, no problem with it. I'm just not the way there, so I'm not really get involved in it. All right, stick and stay. People, yeah, people, you know, here the waterfront. Yeah. Very windy out here. You can see. Well, what I have here, my suit up. I'm going to shoot some fish this morning. Yeah, see that they have a gun out in the water, people. Yeah, they have a gun to shoot fish. Yeah, it's a windy morning. I'm having snackers and I'm having fish gun. I was him shoot a fish bigger than him. Yeah, they have a gun. Yeah, guys, you see that? Out in the sea. I've got an old people.
What are you doing on the coastline? You watching the drink come on? Are you, are, you, are you baby father a dive? Wow, it's a beautiful morning. And yeah man, we like how you enjoy. Big up yourself. You must come down here more often. I hope, I hope your baby father catch a big fish like you. <laughs> yeah man, stick and stay the big super. The drink come on here. In the pan him last run, so most likely I'm gonna just pull in him him thing and I'm there from the morning. I don't know if catching up but just watch and see what we have to do. Like him grab something. Yeah, like him grab something. Yeah, I see my brother over there like him grab something. It's approaching the big like the day now, so come on. The soup on this coastline here this morning. Just, just enjoying the morning, you know? Beautiful morning. Come on. Stick and stay up here.
Roll up your catch, my brethren. Roll up your catch. Roll up your catch. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean? about how to see the diver go out and then come back with a string of fish never put on nothing out there and give thanks and that's what the thing there they go on good they go on good people stick and stay comment like share and subscribe don't know a big trooper yeah people this your man look for head home I you know when him look a catch and think so Take care of yourself, Bill. Have yourself a great morning. I hope God bless you and your family. Peace. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm going to be sure I'm going to be sure I'm going to be sure I'm So, people, it was another glorious morning on the beach line. We catch about four sea posts. We were catching some fish this morning. And we see him pick up one wheels. As I name, mean, there's something on the shell wheels. And he got one, so. And we give thanks, you know. And you know, you never put down anything out there, so. We get something here with us. And I'm glad we get something. So. Speak and stay, people. Big soup on the coastline. In a prospect center, man. And it's another beautiful, beautiful morning on the beach. So. Do the right thing people, subscribe to my channel that we can keep on putting out more wonderful beach line content. Peace, I'm out. <laughs>